Hi everybody, it's Allison for The Everyday Scrapbooker. I'm dropping in today to share with you a very simple watercolor Christmas card. To start, you need your watercolors, some watercolor paper that's trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches or slightly smaller. And that's what I did. I trimmed mine down to slightly smaller than an E2 card. And I'm focusing on the reds to create an ombre watercolored background. So I started with a light colored red and then worked down towards the bottom of the panel and darkened it as I went. And after I got to the dark color, I decided that it needed some slightly lighter red yet above the light red. So I dipped my paintbrush into the light red and some white and created a slightly lighter color um, yet. Once that was done, I used my heat tool to speed up the drying process and then broke out a close to my heart thin cut set called the Layered Leaves Thin Cut Set and used one of the leaves to cut a couple leaves, <laughs> obviously. I am using close to my heart sage cardstock. As you can see, this is scrap cardstock and ended up having to do my cutting a second time because it didn't cut very well the first time and some of the little pieces from inside the leaf didn't want to come out very easily. So I did it over a second time off camera. And those are the two new ones that you see lying on the card panel. I'm using a newer stamp set from Close to My Heart to stamp the sentiment. I'm going to be heat embossing that and I'm going to use some silver embossing powder. I don't know who it comes from. I've had it for so long that I couldn't even tell you who manufactured it. It's in this little tower and there's all kinds of different embossing powders in it and I'm just using up what's left of the silver. So I prepped the watercolor paper with my anti-static pouch and I'm dipping the stamp in my Versamark ink and then putting the silver over top of it. Now I didn't get the stamping really good on this image and I don't have a misty, so I couldn't go back and do it over again. So part of the M in Mary is going to be missing, but you get the general idea. I heat embossed that, or used my heat tool to speed up the drying process for that as well. And also you need your heat tool to give it that really pretty glossy look. With that done, I'm going to adhere the leaves using some close to my heart liquid glass. And then I will attach some twine just to add a little bit of interest and dimension. There's the twine. I'm using the red color. This has also been in my stash for eons. It comes from close to my heart. And I will be tying a bow from that in just a little bit here after I get the leaves attached. So I played with this particular bottle of liquid glass for probably too long before deciding I was done with it. It's probably empty. I can't get any glue out of it. So I switched over to another bottle. I'm going to take the nozzle off of this one and put it on the new bottle. I just didn't want to do that on camera. Links will be provided in the description box down below this video for all the products that I have used in this video. And at the end of the video, I will include some close-ups as well, so make sure you stick around for that. With Christmas coming up so quickly, I felt inspired to kind of jump on the bandwagon and do a 12 Days of Christmas like a lot of other companies I'm sure you have seen around the internet are doing as well. But instead of prizes, like everybody else is doing, I decided to do a 12 Days of Card Miss. And this will be the first card in my 12 Days of Christmas that I'm going to be doing. I will be sharing two cards today over on my Facebook page. I'll provide the link for that as well. It'll be in the description box below this video. If you're not a fan there or a follower, make sure you do that so you don't miss any of the cards. Um, and other scrapbooking inspiration as well. There's lots of inspiration from different companies and around the internet that I find inspiring that I share to that page as well. So if this is something that interests you, come on by. 
I have my leaves now attached to the card base. I decided when I cut the leaves that I was going to use both sides of the cardstock. Close to my heart cardstock has two different shades of the same color on both sides of the paper. So one side is going to be lighter and when you flip it over, there's a darker side or darker shade of the same color. So when I cut the leaves, I cut a lighter shade from one side and then I flipped it over and cut a darker, the darker shade as well so that I could create some depth and distinguish between the two leaves as well so that they're not the same color and kind of blend into each other. I'm just tying a bow now in the twine, getting it to the size that I want and then I'll trim it down and glue it to the stem of the leaves with some liquid glass. And with that, the card is pretty well done. It's a super simple card to recreate and mass produce if that interests you. And if not, hey, that's totally cool as well. After I get my little bow glued to the card panel, I'm going to flip it over, throw some adhesive on the back of it and glue it to my card base. And then I'm going to add some bling all from close to my heart. I'll be using the Biddy Sparkles, which is probably one of my favorite ever products from close to my heart. I just love those little sparkles. And I'll also be using some silver gems, silver glitter gems from close to my heart as well. I'll sprinkle those around the title and the leaves. I wanted to pick up a little bit more of the silver and so that's why I use the Biddy Sparkles and the silver glitter gems as well. And with that, the card is completed. It's a super simple Christmas card to make. And it's actually really versatile as well. You can switch out the Christmas greeting and put anything that you want on the card top and it'll work for whatever it is that you choose. And I love the ombre watercolor. Watercoloring is so simple to do and so is ombre. If you don't wanna miss any videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you are updated every time I post a new video. And thank you so much for dropping in. Please give me a like or a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know that you were here watching the video and I hope it inspired you to try your own watercolor ombre card. Thanks so much for joining me guys. I will see you again real soon. Bye.